Hey, good morning. Right, it is Tuesday and I'm going to be tackling this pattern here. It's pretty straightforward. And then I'm just waiting for a few blocks to get dropped off to finish this little cut up here. However, I've still not got the steel. So I'm going to leave it a tiny bit down. I know it seems a bit backwards doing all the block work and everything first, but I need to crack on. Anyway, so we are doing this pattern here, copying the house. It's actually got two cores of pattern. You've got one there and then one here, but you only see this one brick from the front. So I've just mimicked that. So this little 65 mil block is gonna be rendered. You're gonna see one brick, and then if you go around the corner, you're gonna see two course of pattern. Sad, anyway, we're gonna crack on and get some work done. doing here with my long level I spoke about this on my toothing video not toothing dog tooth video I'm just ranging it in with the existing wall to make sure that that little corbel isn't like that or like that so it's just perfectly in line sand here we go so we are getting this detail course on right now I was trying to use this lat to prop these bricks which were at 20 mil but it's too wet and it's too bent so but I was trying anyway I've also just put some tray around this dormer so we don't get any penetrating damp which rots the wood so yeah sand anyway let's crack on morning Hi. you're right yes, you. yeah not bad sir so we have got the internal block work pretty much up to high it looks like I'm gonna need one block and then a pad stone for underside of steel but can't do any more until the steel's here so I'm leaving it at that height gonna get the concrete blocks now up to that height as well do my pattern to that height and then just leave everything take all my hockey sticks off leave it until I have the steel and then I'll be able to finish that tip and then all we got to do now it's run down there, one course of block, two bricks. So, not far off at all. This will probably be my last video on this job since there's not much really to show you. Sad, right, let's crack on. down to get some compo and this is the stage we're at I've taken that profile off while supporting the soldiers leaving that top little bit open just so we can slot the steel through at a later date currently I'm just going down that side with some blocks and I just need to nip to the barn conversion up the road to get a few more bricks to go from there to about there 
So yeah, sand, getting there, it actually looks pretty tidy. Yeah, it didn't look too bad. I've had to change this brick detail to bricking off because this brick previously was landing halfway off that. So I've made it bricking off so it actually lands on something. It works perfectly this side. See there, it lands perfectly on one full brick almost anyway. But uh, yeah, I've just had to tweak that. It's because this side's higher, that side's lower. So when your landing brick hits your corbel, it's just landing slightly different. Anyway, let's crack on. I've set my hockey sticks at 25 mil or the line. No, 20 mil. Yeah, set my line on my hockey sticks, 20 mil out. That'll allow for the render. There we go. So we have got the brick detail on there. Just left it back a little bit so we can get the seals in. Don't know how I feel about them being at different heights. Let's go up there and have a little look and explain why. Right, there we go. So there's this detail and that detail here. All sorted. Now, this detail is 225 mil higher. And we were kind of dictated by two main factors. First one, we wanted the profile of the existing roof to kind of flow through with the new roof. So you can see either side, we've got a 65 mil lead detail. And then another big thing, if we had the wall plate one course lower, so it was equal to this side, 900 mil, the head height in here would be a lot lower so we've kind of made the best out of a bad situation, I guess. But overall, I'm pretty happy.
I've had these bricks up at the barn conversion drying for a few days, so they're not too bad at all to lay. He says. So we have pretty much finished this job now, which I'm pretty pleased about, really. We ended up getting the detail done down there, left out from a steel to go in on the gable, and that's about it, really. Pretty much, uh, pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with how this cottage extension's gone on, to be fair with you. I don't know if you remember, but I've probably done about six or seven videos on this job. The first video was this big retaining wall I did. That was a couple of months ago now. And then I just did like a little mini series of this whole job. So yeah, it's gone really well. Really pleased with it, in all fairness with you. What have I done? I think I've done about six, seven, probably 11 working days, maybe 12 working days here, Brit Lane. But that's solely just on my own. No labourer, just me, Brit Lane. I'm pretty happy. Overall, the job has gone pretty well and the customers are really pleased. So yes, sand. Anyway, that is me done for this video and pretty much for this build. Sad. thanks a lot F1 for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do appreciate it. Sand. Right, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.